So that you can set the initial conditions for a new 3ds Max scene, I'm going to show you how to create a maxstart.max file. That is a special template file that is stored inside your current project's scenes folder. Every time you launch 3ds Max or reset it, that maxstart.max template scene is loaded in. A new scene will inherit that max start scenes units and grid settings and even some other options such as interface preferences. For example, by default, the perspective view is going to display a gradient background. And I don't actually want it to. I want to display a solid background in all viewports. And currently, the only way to make that consistently appear every time I launch 3ds Max is to create the template scene file. With that perspective view selected, I'll go up into the menus and choose Views, Viewport background, solid color. Now if I save the scene in this state, that option will be stored. I've already set up the units and the grid in this scene. We can just check in on that. Customize unit setup. I'm using centimeters. Right click on one of the grid and snap icons. And in the home grid, I've got a grid spacing of one centimeter with major lines every 10 centimeters and I'll close that. I've got the scene set up the way I want it to be every time I launch or reset 3ds Max, and I can save my maxstart.max scene file now. I could even have objects in that max start scene, and every time I launch or reset Max, those objects would appear in the new scene. But I'm not going to do that in this case. I just want a simple template, so let's just save this as it is. We'll go to the File menu and choose Save As. And in the current project folder, in the scenes folder, we just want to save a document called max start. And that's all there is to it. Click save. And we can demonstrate that this actually works. We can change our units, reset the program, and see that those units get restored to the setting within max start.max. So let's reset, file reset. Do we really want to reset? Yes. All right. Go to Customize, Unit Setup, and it's set to centimeters. But let's change it. We'll put it back to generic units. Click OK. And then Reset again. File, Reset. Click Yes. Go back into Customize, Unit Setup, and the Display Unit Scale is reset to centimeters. All right, so every time we restart or reset 3ds Max, we'll get system units of centimeters with a grid spacing of one centimeter. It's a new scene that inherited the settings of maxstart.max.